Nelson Holitata Mandela, 1918-2013. to 2013. It's nine minutes past six. Good morning and welcome to the show. What day is it, Darius? Oh, yes, it's Friday, but it's not just any Friday, is it? It is the Friday, a week on since we woke up to the news that Nelson Mandela was dead. We are on the route of the cortege that will carry the body of uh, Nelson Mandela one last time to the Union buildings. You know what? The feeling, I'm in a somber mood, to tell the honest truth. But... We just have to come here and honor the great man. Amanda Papa. It's going to make me very emotional. We're just here to, see, to say, pay our respects to an icon. We just want to bring the kids so they will remember it in another 10 or 15 years, this history in the making in the backyard of our homes. We have to be here. While billions of people are watching it over the TV, we can be here just to watch it live. Just to say goodbye to a great man. He meant very much to South Africa. He did very much for us. And uh, he healed South Africa in a big way. You can feel the sense of anticipation here. It feels almost like, and I hate to say it, before a big sporting event, before the teams run onto the field, people are singing, people are chatting, they're getting ready for the cortege to come. I'll be very interested to see if the mood changes afterwards. I'm going to go up on the roof now, the rain roof just above us, a couple of meters above us, and we will talk you through when the cortege comes. Quite extraordinary. I mentioned when we started broadcasting, there were dozens of people outside. There were hundreds, it seems, about half an hour ago. I am now looking down at two lines of thousands and thousands of people. One of the, the features of this week has been the weather. We know that the weather for the memorial service really was, was terrible, albeit a good luck sign. Well, the weather today is, is magnificent. There is literally not a cloud in the sky. Here comes the procession of the police outriders, followed by the vehicle that holds the mortal remains of Nelson Mandela. They're traveling very, very slowly indeed. Two lines of motorbikes. The crowd is cheering, but it's, it, it's not it's not hysterical cheering, it's respectful cheering. Twelve outriders have just passed. And a single motorbike about 50 meters behind. The helicopter, the military helicopter is hovering above us. And here come the army motorbikes in thick, thick ranks. The military police. There are 16 of them, and how they can even ride their bikes so closely together. And now 100 meters behind is the building. Ah, oh, it's the body of Nelson Mandela. People are throwing the petals. And dignitaries and family members behind it is, it is just past us now. You can see the flag drape, draped coffin, and there are dozens and dozens of cars, luxury cars now following, and army cars as well. There are one, two, three helicopters above us, and there's a small plane. And it's a very emotional moment. I was wondering how people would feel. And even though we'd talked about it and prepared for it, and I suppose discounted the fact that Madiba is gone, and this is his journey, when you actually see that small coffin passing in that small vehicle, it is very, very emotional indeed. And I think I relayed the story in, in Egypt years ago when they moved the ancient kings down the Nile from the Valley of the Kings and took it to Cairo and ordinary people came out in the farms and just stood with their heads uncovered even though the, these kings were thousands of years old and you can sort of understand it now to see a great person passing.